the last section, we finished up the input component and we also did a small refactor on our login form. So now we make reference to this.state.email to get the current email address that's in that input. We could have, again, just as easily left this thing as text. You know, we could have gone with text here, absolutely no issue. However, I find it a lot more clear to make sure that my property names match up to the actual meaning of the property as well. So in this case, this piece of state right here contains the email address. So this.state.email makes a lot more sense than this.state.text. Okay, we're gonna move forward now and we are gonna focus on hooking up the password input. So we've already got our email, but we also need to receive a password as well. And that's the purpose of this card section component that we placed right here. It was gonna wrap the password input. So we're gonna use the same strategy as we did with the email. We are going to initialize a piece of state called password that is gonna hold the password that's sitting inside the input. We will then create a new input tag and place it inside of this existing card section. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we will start off by initializing another piece of state called password. And it's just that easy. Next, we'll go on down to the kind of dangling card section that we've got. And I'm gonna turn this into a expanded tag. And then inside of here, we'll place the input. So we'll say input, and then I will make it a multi-line tag like so, because I know that we're gonna to need to pass a lot of props. I'll give it a placeholder of lowercase password. Again, I like to make sure that the placeholders that I have for my inputs kind of look like what the user might enter into that field. So in the case of the email, having a placeholder of like user at gmail.com makes sense. For the password, eh, you know, the password's different for everyone. So I'm gonna put lowercase password just to kind of make people think, okay, you know, this is my password, whatever. Next, we will tell this input what its value is supposed to be. So we'll say, hey, your value is going to be this.state.password. And then we will add on the on change text event handler. So on change text. And remember, we pass this thing a function and whatever we pass to it will be the text that the user just entered. So we'll enter in password as the argument. And whenever this thing gets called, we will update our password piece of state, like so. Again, I wanna point out, and I know that I point this out all the time, but uh, honestly, it leads to a lot of confusion. Just remember that the argument that I receive here, I'm, I'm calling it password, but it is the text that the user just entered. So I can call this password, I can call it text, I can call it new update, whatever I wanna call it. I choose to call it password just to make sure that it's really clear, hey, this is the password that the user just typed in. Now the very last thing that we need to do is make sure that we pass in a label as well. So I'm going to add in a label property. And for this one, we'll just say, you know, keep it nice and simple, just say password. That's all we really need here. All right, so let's test this out in the simulator. I will refresh. And all right, here's our password field. So let's now test it out. I'm gonna click in and start typing out my secret. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Our password is being entered in plain text right here, which is definitely not the intent. We definitely don't want to make sure, we don't want our password to be available in plain text where say anyone looking over this person's shoulder is going to be able to see the, the entered password here. So we need to make sure instead that the password is gonna show up as like stars or something to the user after they enter it. Fortunately, that text input tag that we've been using as kind of the primitive behind the input component supports secure text entry or kind of password input. All we have to do is pass a prop to our text input tag. By the way, I'm in my input component right now. So we'll pass an additional prop to the text put input here and tell it, hey, you are made for showing a password. Please show all your characters with an asterisk or something like that just to obstruct uh, anyone from looking over this person's shoulder. So to do so, all we have to do is add in a, another property called secure text entry. If we pass in secure text entry of true, then the password will be, or basically the input is gonna be obstructed or it's gonna be obfuscated. 
Now you'll notice that ESLint is complaining here. It says value must be omitted for Boolean attributes. So what this means to say is you'll notice that I am passing in a prop secure text entry of true. This is a little bit of a gotcha with JSX. Now, let me, let me be very clear. This is valid JSX that we have right here. But by convention, whenever we have a Boolean property, so we're just passing in something as true, in this case, you know, just flat out true, we can take a little bit of a shortcut by just listing the property. So just by listing secure text entry, this means that we're going to pass in uh, you know, true or false, whatever it might be. Now, we do want to make sure that our input is not always showing a secure text entry. We want it to be able to be customized by the parent component. So the parent should be able to decide, uh, you know what, yes, I do want this thing to be hidden or I want it to be, uh, or excuse me, not hidden, but I want this to be a secure text entry or I do not want it to be. So to make sure that's the case, we will add in another prop to our input and we'll take secure text entry. So we're just gonna call it the exact same thing. And now that we are uh, going to use some prop here, okay, now we do in fact have to uh, assign this to a prop. So I'm going to assign it the prop secure text entry. So now if inside of our component, when we create an input tag, if we pass in secure text entry of true, that will be passed to our tag as true. And if we pass false or undefined for secure text entry, the thing is not going to consider itself to be a password input. So now all we have to do is flip back over to our login form and we're going to decide of our two inputs which one needs to be secure text entry. So the email one probably doesn't need secure text entry, like we just want the user to see what the thing looks like or you know what the actual value is that they've entered. So on this one, we will not enter in any property whatsoever. So when the input is created, it's going to consider secure text entry to be undefined. So we're gonna pass undefined to this prop right here. And undefined with JSX is basically the same thing as false. So it's going to think that, okay, they must not want secure text entry. But in the case of our password field, we do want that secure text entry. We want to pass in secure text entry of true. So to do that, we can just say secure text entry. And again, by just listing this prop, it will show up inside of the input as being a value true. Like just listing it means it's gonna show up as the value true inside of this component. So now when we render this input, input secure text entry is gonna come in as true. We're gonna pass true to the text input and boom, there you go. Okay, let's test this out in the simulator now. I'll refresh and I'll put in my user at gmail.com. Okay, that one looks good. And my password and perfect. So it's nicely obfuscated, nice round dots. So anyone looking over our user shoulder is not gonna be able to see this person's password in plain text. Okay, this looks fantastic. I think we're just about done with the form. The last thing we need to do is check to see whether or not the user's email and password is correct. Like, you know, whether or not they actually entered the correct login information. So let's continue the next section and start focus on doing the actual authentication part of our application. <laughs>